recording. Yeah. <laughs> I won't. I, won't I, don't, I don't have to put it all up there, but. Hi guys. Hello there. This is my blood relative. My sister from the same mister and the same mother. I know I look better, but it's okay. And I think she's a motherfucking lie. <laughs> This is the Jeffrey, aka the Imani special. I think that's what we're calling it. Yeah, it has all the alcoholic flavors, and it's, it's not. It don't have a strong alcohol. And taste. I don't drink, but this is good. This is some good it's shit. good. I can't remember off the top of my head what I got, but I recorded what she was saying on my phone, so I put it up there. So I don't. But I only got name. three different flavors. Ooh. <laughs> you got quick hands, bitch. Got clean and bone. Woo! Woo! Even in the sun, it's not bad. Let's toast. Oh, wait, it's not on camera. Stay kind of where you're at. Now I'll just meet you kind of. Oh, I'm sorry. I really didn't even notice. That's my bad. For real. <laughs> Like dumplings, <laughs> shit. Oh my god, you think everything smells like shit? No, that food do smell like shit. That's the only thing I've ever said. Ew, that looks like shit. It's dumplings. This shit looks nasty. It's just chicken and dumplings. I need to try it. Oh, it smells like shit, but you need to try it. No, I don't want that big of a piece. <laughs> But the chicken is kind of chewy. It tastes like chicken and soup. Chicken and dumpling. Chicken is a little tough. But it's okay. Not super flavorful, but okay flavor. These mashed potatoes. They're okay. They're garlic mashed potatoes, but in my opinion, they don't taste very garlicky. A little bit. And then I got the vegetable medley or whatever, but I haven't tried any of that. It's got like broccoli, cauliflower, squash, onions. I don't even like onions, but I want to eat. It's apparently got zucchini. Oh, zucchini. You like zucchini? You can have that. My battery's going dead. Good thing I have another. Hello, I've been my angel now. It's like I've been awakened. Awakened. It's the risk that I'm taking. I ain't never gonna shut you up. I'm surrounded by your grace. You mad because you can't hit that note like that? Bitch, I don't want to hit it. You should see her salty face. That's why I want to record right here because we don't need a BBM left out. 
hey guys so i just wanted to speak to you guys really quickly about my experience at durham food hall we were pretty much in and out to be honest we didn't even eat there as you will kind of see from the experience we had that night i recall having the chicken and dumplings i also it came with a little a little very small cornbread muffin and then i also had man what did i have this is sad this is real sad oh i had the vegetable medley so i had like mixed vegetables and then i had the mashed potatoes the chicken and dumplings was straight it was it was it was okay it wasn't anything like super duper i guess but i mean it had a little bit of flavor it was it was edible <laughs> it was it was it was okay the corn muffin was okay as well but i had an issue with it being like super small so small that it fits in one of those little plastic containers that you put dips in but you know whatever that's how they do it that's how they want to do it plus you can't order corn muffins as a side so they only portion them out for the servings of chicken and dumplings that they give you so that's all you can that's all you're gonna get unless you order another chicken and dumplings um the mixed vegetables was okay um i just wanted to get some vegetables and it had broccoli in it, it had cauliflower in it it had onions carrots and zucchini i don't care for onions or zucchini that much so my sister had ate the zucchini but other than that like it's a nice vegetable medley for people who like all of those vegetables like that's perfectly fine um the mashed potatoes they were garlic mashed potatoes to be specific that's what they were labeled as and they were okay as well they didn't taste really garlicky to me like i didn't really taste any garlic seasoning any actual garlic in them but that's what they were called um if they were okay i would prefer to have just not gotten them to be honest um even the chicken and dumplings taste better than the mashed potatoes and it was quite the bummer because i love some good mashed potatoes but you don't know till you try it um and then my god sister i think they all got chicken and waffles it was like a velvet 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 waffle red velvet waffle they all got the red velvet chicken and waffles and i think they were all pretty like satisfied with that i didn't try i, try, I think i tried a piece of the red velvet waffle but i don't remember how it tasted <laughs> um so yeah i didn't have it whatever um so the durham food hall was a lot smaller than i thought it was going to be um i hadn't really looked up that much about how it looked online but from what i could see it only had like yeah it only had about five or six restaurants maybe and then there was a bar um and then there was another place where you can get like alcoholic beverages you can get free water at the bar so you don't have to buy a bottle of water but it was very like nice it was very nice and cute though i will say that okay so yeah there is a total of 11 restaurants slash bars but when we got there it was like seven ish i think it was around seven and only like there was a pizza place open the place that we ate at lula what is it called lula and sadie's they were open and then the bar was open and then there was another like alcohol spot i feel like that was open or beverage company i think yeah maybe it was like four places open out of 11. um so yeah i'm not sure maybe those places i didn't realize those places yeah these places some of these places do have different hours than what the actual food hall closes at and i did not look into that initially so that's why some of the stuff was closed and we did have a limited range of options to choose from which next time i will have to make sure i go a little bit earlier in the day so that i can actually try some of the like desserts and other stuff that they have from like the dessert restaurant and all of that um overall the food was okay the location was cute it wasn't too packed when we went because we went on like a wednesday or a thursday anyway um it did have a few levels one of the levels that went all the way up it's, it was blocked off for an event so they do have like an event space up there which is cool 
But yeah, other than that, that's all I have to say about Durham Food Hall. And then we went to the Slush, which is a new black owned alcohol. Well, it, they have non-alcoholic beverages, but it's like a slushy bar that has alcohol in the slushies. They also have like some snacks like chips and stuff. And then as you can see in the video, they had the, um, they had two old school game systems. They had one was like Pac-Man and Galaga. And then the other one was like one of those um, animated fighting games, which I'm not really into. So I didn't even look at that. But for those who are into that, you know that's cool that's a cool option to have it was really nice it was definitely a vibe they played all different kinds of music and the slushies were good they weren't too like strong with the alcohol taste like it wasn't too overpowering so that was nice and they had a little like selfie area where you can basically you know put your phone up and they had a ring light you could take pictures so yeah overall i really liked that experience and that is kind of like how we ended their night but yeah i would definitely recommend you go there if you black and you're trying to support a black owned business and you happen to be in durham then you should definitely do that just keep in mind that that the slush is like in downtown so there's one-way streets and there are is limited parking there was limited parking at the time that we went when you're trying to find that free parking just a bummer you know and we didn't know we didn't know about that either that the location was like that we didn't look that much into it so i'm just forewarning you guys yeah so that is all i have to say for you guys to you guys right now thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one peace